Okay, everyone, it's Joseph with Powerful Gain Stock Options. I want to go over some stuff about the, today's market today and also highlight a few things. Look, if you, want, if you take a look at today's action, look at all these stocks that were down. Look, you got the S&P down, SPY was down, technology or the NASDAQ 100 was down, financial sector was up, 18 cents only though, look. Take a look, we're looking at the daily Clearly, there's been an uptrend here for quite some time. And here's our key level right here, you know, for SPY. This is how you identify key levels, everyone. Okay, look at that. Let's see what it does. This is a key level one, two, doji, indecision. Look at this guy. Popped over it. Guess what? Could not close above it. This is a key level here, folks. You can look at the Dow is down, but this is a this is a pretty powerful uh, price action area here. You see, key level here for um, the Dow. Let's throw a little price on that. Obviously, some people can speculate and they they can say, oh, was no, a little couple cents higher or go off this high. I just go like, let's look at the price action. One, two, three, four times traded above, like it was above here, above this key level. But where did it close? Below it. Okay, so we want to see how, well, let's see how this price action, how this candle reacts. Does it go higher? Does it continue to chop? Does it go down? Want to test the, three, the ADMA? See that you want to take a look at key levels, then let the price action give you signals on what it's going to do when you get in on a lower time frame. That's how it works. So we see all this red here. Let's take a look at HD. Look at this. This is a pretty powerful move here. See the whole market's down, spies down, technology's down, Dow's down. Um, but look what look what uh, HD did. HD stayed right at this key level here of 279 and closed above it. Even though it can't couldn't spend some time, you know, try to break this key level, pulled back to double bottom, came back here, still couldn't break it. So this uh this is an area I'm gonna be paying attention to as well as this to see what happens next. So I'll provide an update either way. And explain the opportunity and how you could have taken advantage or gotten in. This is the Powerful Gain Stock Scanner, as everyone knows, who has follow, who's a follower. Market red, Dow red, Spy red. But look, Powerful Gain Stock Scanner, green, green. Anthem up 11 bucks and 40 cents. Look at this strong candle here. Look at this volume. Momentum is up. The squeeze is up. Let's take a look. Even ADX is at 35 and 31 green. That's very, very strong. That's that's a lot of power. So it's really this. This would have been one to get into. And look, it was identified on, on the perfect game stock scanner when everything else was either down today or pretty much red. <laughs> Majority of this is red. Look, this is the five minute, 15 minute, and one hour. So NVIDIA and Tesla throughout that whole time, you know, just downside. Let's look at the volume. Average 30 days, 9 million, 28. Today was 735, that's lower volume. Tesla, lower volume. But good Apple. 30 day average volume here is 108 million. Apple today was 121 million. So this is a spike in volume. If you're going to get short, you could have definitely had a lot of confidence. Look, mostly selling here on this volume. The DX is a red 30, and ADX, I mean the DMI, is red 30, ADX 31. That's also a very strong move. It's Closed below the eight, the three MA, and below this key level. So, a lot of uh, confluence here showing you that this was going to be a 
a down day. And let's jump down to the five. Let's see what happens at the open. Gap down and well below this key level. So here's the first signal that told you uh, sellers had the ball. Last two closes here closed at 124.44. So not only did it gap below these, these closes here um, and a former breakout area here, but it also, look at the multiple touches here of this key level finally broke and had a continuation here. So it, it got below that key level. And then usually the first candle of the day, you want to see how the high and the low is. And next candle close below, here's where you would have got in, either at this close or this guy. I would have went here. So right here is when I would have gotten in. When short, this was this was my area I wanted to keep my profits as long as it, it doesn't close or break above here. Stay in the trade. And when price starts to slow down here, see how it slows down? It didn't go down any further. Here's your signal when it's time to take some profits. And also, take a look at the gap here on the 8 EMA, between the 8 EMA. You know it's going to want to test here or it's going to chop around. And what does it do? Look, chop around, eventually caught up to it. More chop, all this chop. So the bulk of the move would have been here. And I always trade in the morning, as as a lot of you know. Uh, first one to two hours of trading is my preference. Preferably the first half an hour to an hour is even a higher preference. Um, there's where we got, we got in. Here's how you play to the downside. When it gets here, it gives you a buy signal. It starts to trade on the ADMA. That's time to take profits as well. So you could have taken profits here. This is likely where I would have taken it. Two candles in a row, not moving down, consolidating. You know, with this area here, the magnitude of this move, time takes profits. Like, try to go up, couldn't break above there. Came back down, still look the same area here. Same area. Finally use that as support. Just chopped around the rest of the day. So I wanted to just cover some some things about today. Also, just to highlight the powerful gain stock scanner here. Identify some very strong movers. Um, you know, look at this. This is a power move here. Pull back. Couldn't close below here. Explode back up. Let's see. What's the 80? That's a couple of cents. But actually, so... It was a strong move, but uh, unfortunately, the there's only 17 cents. But if, if this was Tesla, if this was Amazon, the price action is still the same. So that's why it's important to understand and internalize, get used to looking at price action, because this could very much be a Tesla move. And, you know, um, you know from this could have been a Tesla move, and this would have been, you know, a couple hundred dollars, or it could have been 25 to 50 dollars. See, so just take a look at Tesla, what it did today. Tesla was down $48. Like, power move here. I actually try to hold this key level. Once it broke below and closed, look, just it, it never recovered from this area here, basically what I'm saying. This was the bulk of the move here, but it chopped around quite a bit and eventually went a little lower, as you can see. Look. Let's see how long it went. All the way down to 652 from 682. A $30 move. If you would have caught it. It was kind of tough because it gapped down and then it was a, a Tesla chance to go really fast. So if you weren't in this area and looking for that break and, and having your um, buy order ready, uh, you probably would have got it at a higher price, but even if you caught some of this move, you know, Tesla options, you know, they move very fast and they, they grow very quickly as well as they, um, when it goes against you, it goes against you fast as well. So that's why it's very, very important to, um, keep an eye on these key levels. That's all I got for today. Everyone we will be back, uh, another day, probably next week, early week to see how the market goes. Uh, but, very strong moves here. Look at this move.
power move back up. This one was up $10.74 today. Hartford, HIG. Hartford Financial Services Group. Baxter had a move. Anthem, nice. Look at the strong candle anthem here. Green volume, momentum's coming up. AX is 22. DI plus is 39. That's very strong. Even if you didn't get in here, okay, red candle. Next one breaks over here is 346. 347, dollar move. You would have stayed in though. 349. So still pretty good. So strong move here. Consolidated. I mean, it's win another move here. 349 to 350.9. Actually, closed at 353. See, it ended up being even higher. Okay, everyone, that's all I got for today.